morning good morning how are you all doing i hope you're all doing well thank you so much for stopping by my name is winnie and welcome to elwin's top show sorry the noise i've just put the kettle on i'm having my breakfast um Let me divert a little bit. One way of helping you to exercise is when you have your kettle on, while you're waiting for it to, you know, for the water to boil, do some exercise. Have a skipping rope. Skip as, you, as the kettle is boiling. Skip, 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 skip until the time you know the kettle stops okay so that's one way to to put some you know few minutes towards your exercise routine okay milk tea bags having toasted bread with marmalade that's um the ginger ginger jam somebody gifted that to me it's really nice because i love everything ginger and um, here i've got my toast just normal you know breakfast yeah so so like i said have I said it? I don't know. Anyway, so at the moment, I'm reading a book called Permission to Dream by Chris Gardner. He's the author of The Pursuit to Happiness, the movie by Will Smith. Okay, so that's that's the book. I've watched the I've watched the movie before, but it's not as detailed as the book. Okay, so if you fell in love with that movie. Please go and buy the book. It is it is a, it is a good book so far. I haven't finished it, and um, he it's a it's a story, you know, uh, a a true life story of what this man went through, you know. So there's a bit of history in there, things to do with you know the war, the way people migrated, you know, from different countries to America and things like that. Um, so they once had a dream okay so that's the main point they had once had a dream so it is a really really good book if I quickly read it it says wherever you are in your life I hope this story reminds you of the power to dream th that life in each and every one of us all right my hope is that it helps you to embrace the energy of atomic time I have read atomic habits so I'm really curious to know about the atomic time uh, and that is another good good book um, atomic habits so um, to embrace the energy of atomic time to know that every second matters hmm every second matters to know that you matter to know that what you dream and your pursuit can matter we all have witnessed in our collective journey of the present challenging moment that circumstances can change radically in and instantly all right we each have to do a hard a hard pivot uh, towards new and changing uh, terrain we control only our dreams and our pursuit of them you can change your life in a snap if you live in atomic time by choosing to transform your one day into today i love that so go and buy the book so in this book so far what i've read i've captured a few things and challenges that he has put okay 
and one of them is to ask yourself what do you do okay so put your name down put your name on that statement that i really what do i do all right so that would also mean uh, you know what is your purpose okay if you start asking yourself that you will you will come about you will come to realize um what's really your purpose okay so that's one challenge and the other challenge that i've captured from the book it's, uh he says um how do you do it okay so how do you do it what do you do so that particular thing that you do how do you do it are you doing it the right way okay are you doing it the right way all right so please ask yourself those questions those are the questions that i'm currently asking myself you know through reading the book okay and um the he encourages uh the the um he encourages so he, it's, a, it's, a, it's a conversation between himself the grandfather and the granddaughter okay so the granddaughter is she looks she seems to be very curious uh very clever very articulate uh she knows so much you know at a very young age so that's what, what i've gathered so far from the book and um so the, the the girl keeps asking so she's living in her own you know kind of dream okay she's after like you know things and things that slightly like happening to her because she wanted like to go and see uh and visit the white house she she ended up going to visit there right you know uh, president president obama at the time and then she went uh this particular keyboard she ended up getting it so she, you know she's ticking her own little dream okay so so it's a conversation between grandfather and and the granddaughter and um the grandfather is encouraging the the daughter the granddaughter by saying to her nobody can stop you no one on this earth <coughs> excuse me can literally stop you you are the one who can stop yourself you know we have this thing of saying that it's so and so it's so and so it's so and so for me i take inspiration from people but i also believe that whatever inspiration that i get all right it's me to take action it's me to move it's me to go and pursue those things somebody has already inspired me out there they've inspired me to study they've inspired me to to be a good character you know in the society they have inspired me of all these good things i've had this inspiration but who they're not going to tell take me to do those things i'm the one who needs to make me do those things and achieve those things that i have in mind all right so the power is in your hands you who is listening to me now the power is in your hands what is that dream that you have what do you as aspire to be what are you, what are the plans that you have what are the goals that you have i know it's october right now you know um and um you know the year is coming to a close people are panicking we are going back into our journals we are going back into our diaries we are going back to the calendars and checking oh what have i done some people have been laid out of work some people have had illnesses some people have um, you know had you know said you know they have Go, they have had grief and death in families and and things like that so we're in a in a in a in a financial crisis at the moment so there's a lot of things that are happening but i would want to encourage you it's also a time for you to dream okay sit down relax quietly think through what is that thing that you aspire to become and persist on it you are the only okay you are the only winner and you're the only loser nobody else no one else even your parents all right even your parents they can only 
prompt you to do this and this and that prompt you to go to school prompt you to you know to be a certain way to carry yourself in a certain way but at the end of the day it is you all right so you have the lead you have the lead no 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 not me who is trying to encourage you right now i'm saying it i'm putting it all out there okay so you are listening to me take take it sit down and do uh, and dream and pursue those dreams okay so no matter how ambitious your dream don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't do that all right if you want something if you want something go for it period this book has brought me into tears this morning there's some things that this man has gone through. I think he's, which that I am at, I think he's going through the second divorce or something. Okay? The challenges, sleeping rough, you know, working in a financial market and still sleeping rough with a young baby. My goodness, that broke my heart. I was thinking, this man has, has gone through. But here he is an author of a movie and an author of a book okay so and then he goes back to the world he, the world war the 18 the 1850s and and all that all right those people they had dreams they they, they were walking out grand grand grandfathers they were walking miles and miles and miles to be able to you know because they had a dream they had a vision they had a picture in front so no matter all the hurdles and the you know the rough circumstances that they were facing along the way they kept focused so no matter how ambitious your dream is keep pursuing it what do you want to become what do you want to see because that's the main reason you're here on earth if you haven't got a if you haven't got a purpose or you know um you know it it is hard you we have we all have to motivate ourselves we all have to have something to look at and focus okay are you a young mother right now thinking oh one day i would want to put my children into private schools you know here in the uk we hear about private schools and i'm thinking oh my goodness how do people you know uh, manage to put children into private schools what sort of jobs do they do okay so i'm breaking it down for myself regardless of how how old i am okay you know life can just happen in a, in a, in a snap all right things can happen in a snap okay one day you, you people wake up and they, they they find themselves in in different different situations some of them very good situations some of them bad situations but we are all here to dream so the power is in your hands my darling the power is in my hand Wimi. no one will come and help me out i have to help myself okay i have to help myself lastly life is not a movie the cinderella movies you know and this and that that i used to watch from a young age hmm. life is not a movie life is not a movie you can create you know uh, a movie to suit you but life is not a movie all right i hope this encourages someone today please go ahead and um share it with your family and friends and i shall see you on my next one god bless you bye bye